Uh, so what we've got here now is a John Deere Z335E, uh, Z-Track uh, zero turn uh, mower. So this here is your cutting height adjustment, okay? So that's at the top position, which is, uh, so you, you get inch and up to four inches of cutting height. That's how you would adjust it. So depending on the height you want to do, you would have to use, you would have to use that socket put the pin through wherever you want it and it just sort of drops, it leaves it at that height you've just selected. Now by using this socket, you also can adjust the motion levers if you want to uh, drop them down a bit uh, if they're too high. Also, un if you, that's used to undo the bolt here and you can open the floor if you want to get to the idler puller or something like that. Now this model doesn't come with uh, an onboard seat adjustment. If you ever have to adjust the seat, again, you would have to use a socket, undo the bolts, loosen the bolts, and slide the seat back and forth accordingly. It does have a, a safety feature, which is the operator presence switch, which is located under the seat. Now how it works is uh, if the machine is running, Operator leaves the machine, hops, yeah, just uh, stops the engine. This here is your storage compartment. Operator's manual in there. That there. Battery compartment. With the service intervals and Dallow checks sticker on there. This is our handbrake or part brake. Okay. Fuel tank's just on the left hand side. It holds nine liters, uh, eight liters of fuel actually. Um, it doesn't have a fuel gauge as such, but it does have fuel low indicator. This is our ignition, our meter, that's choke and throttle. So when you're mowing, you would have to have it there. Yeah, what, full throttle? Full yeah. throttle, right. regardless of how fast <coughs> or slow you're going. Right. Right. And working red. Yep. Okay. And that engages the blades, that's the PDO switch. Yeah. Yeah. So up is on, the blades are spinning, yeah. down the blades are off. Yeah. Right. Now the reason to have that at full red is yeah. because the it, it depends on the blade tip speed to get the, the best cut quality. Right. Now in the engine bay, as you can tell it's uh, easy access to, uh, to do the servicing. This is our engine oil fill and dipstick here. This here is the engine oil drain tube. So for servicing, lay that on the ground there. Lay that there. Yep. If you have a container under there, yep. okay, we'll just start running. And How often do you recommend we change the uh... first one? Will be due at eight hours. That's oh. when the first service is due. Eight hours. You only change the engine oil filter. Yep. Okay, and you put a new oil in it. That's right. all you have to do. Air filter, fuel pump, spark plugs, and that's the fuel filter here. Yeah. Holds eight litres. Eight litres. What's this fuel rod? Just a reinforcement. That, this, this goes to your um, oh, yeah, levers. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now these drive levers, they're, they're your drive back and forth, yeah. as well as steering. They've got little shockies, struts. So when you're driving, and if you let go, they'll come back to neutral. So if he has a heart attack and falls forward, yeah, it stops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now to start the machine, you've got to be on the seat and make sure the part brake is on because there's a switch under there as well. Part brake is on and the levers are in neutral. Choke it if you need to. We shouldn't have to choke it because we already had it running a couple of times. Then first 
thing you do is release the pipe breaker. Then bring the levers in. Okay? Just don't, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't engage it there, otherwise you'll stall it. Give it a bit of juice. Do you want to put the blades on? Okay. Now this is a 42 inch cutting deck, obviously. It's a washboard if you just want to if you want to rinse the deck okay just got to put the hose on hop on the machine turn the start start the motor and engage the blades as you normally would best do it on the on a flat surface uh, it just rinses underneath the deck you got two spindles that drive the blades they're greasable you lift that and look in there you see the grease nipple in there Oh, yeah, yeah. One Same. on the other side. And one for the other one. Yeah. So you got one, two. Oh, beautiful. How often do you grease them? 20, 25 hours. Yeah. Every 20, 25 hours. So you get one belt that drives the deck, one short one for the, the actual traction drive, to drive the actual mold. No chains, four belts. Right? They're just sealed bushes. Yeah. And your transmission, you got two units there, they're, they're sealed units. 